Hey fellow truth seekers, I'm going to touch on some controversial material here. I want you to know in advance, I'm not against Jews, I'm not really against anybody. I'm just about exposing truth and about what's happening in the world. And I think I have it pretty well figured out. Why? Because I have been researching 9-11 since the day it happened. It never fooled me. It's been, it was a life changer for me. I mean, my life's been on a different path because of 9-11. I, I realized I was, from that day on, I realized I was living in a world of lies. And we need justice. Because if there's no justice for 9-11, we will eventually, we'll eventually all be doomed for it. That's the way I see it. There has to be justice for that day. Otherwise, there's no hope for the future. That's that's essentially is how I can put it. And um, what I want to talk about with regards to Zionism in September 11th is that it was September 12th, the day after, that the phrase war on terrorism was coined. And the person who first used that phrase was the prime minister of Israel, who was previously the secretary of defense for their country. And I think he also returned to that position after being prime minister. His name is Iyad Barak. He changed his last name to Barak, which sums to 33, this very important number, which I expose. At the same time he was prime minister, Bill Clinton was the president of the United States. Bill Clinton was not born Clinton. He was born Bill Blythe. Clinton also sums to 33 in Gematria. It's a name that traces back to the original governors of New York. Recall that when Bill Clinton became president, it was the 93 World Trade Center bombing. And then when George W. Bush became president eight years later in his first year, he had 9-11, what you could call Chapter 2 of the World Trade Center bombing. For those who aren't familiar with Zionism, it is talked about in Revelation 3-9, a very important number to the occult and New York. It's also talked about right here in this documentary, and I want to let an Orthodox Jew explain Zionism because he does it better than me. Judaism is a religion, a, uh, a spirituality to serve God thousands of years old. Zionism is only around 100 years old. old. It is the transformation from religion to nationalism, to materialism, created by non-religious Jews who hated the religion, and they really didn't want to, they didn't even want to make their state in Palestine, only in Uganda at the first meetings. The reason they used the, the name Israel, the Spar of David, hijacking, stealing the identity of Judaism and the Jewish people, is in order to, uh, to get a legitimacy for their existence, that people should say, oh, God gave, it's God given to them, and that they should put fear and intimidate people from speaking up against their actions because they'll be called them anti-Semitic. Yeah. It couldn't be anything further from the truth. As I say, the best friends of the Jewish people is Turkey. The, uh, the best friends of the Jewish people is all the Muslim countries who've helped the Jews all the time when they ran away from their problems in other lands. So how could you say this? It's something totally different. It's a political, selfish, flawed movement called Zionism that has no legitimacy to exist. It's against the Torah. May I just say one thing? It's against the Torah in, the, in its essence. The concept for Jews to have a state is expressly yeah. forbidden in the Torah, in the Jewish teaching, since the destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago. We were told by the Almighty in a, uh, uh, in a prophecy of King Solomon and that we are forbidden to have our own entity, our own state, our own kingdom, uh, even in an uninhabited land. And this was held by all Jews around the world for thousands of years. And it makes it worse, compounds the sin, the, the crime in having the state, because this state of Israel, that these nationalists wanted, made it in Palestine, made it in a land that was inhabited by the majority Muslim people, by the Palestinian people. So to steal their land, to kill, to oppress, to banish them from their homes, it flies in the face and contradicts everything of the Torah that says, Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt. Okay, so you guys got it, right? He's saying that the state of Israel is completely against the Jewish faith, which is true. So what argument is there for Israel to exist from a Jew? There should be no argument. There should be no argument. If you argue for that, you're a Zionist, which means you're one of the false Jews. And that's what I want to talk about. Revelation 3.9 speaks of the false Jews who worship at the synagogue of Satan. Revelation 3, 9, the number 39. That number is super relevant to New York. In Gematria, the name New York sums to 39. 
The word empire sums to 39 for empire state. The abbreviation NY is 14 plus 25. It sums to 39. The United Nations in New York is 39 floors tall. Are you following? With the larger method, New York sums to 111. The World Trade Centers were massive 11s in the New York City skyline in Manhattan. Manhattan has a gematria of 11. Recall I said it was Iyad Barak who coined the phrase war on terrorism the day after September 11th. Israel, on his badge, he has the Star of David with a cross through it because he's saying it's a false symbol, stolen. These people have a false identity. They're really not Jews. They're just imposters, disgracing the Jewish people. The Zionist movement began in 1897. It was the next year that Futility Wreck of the Titan was written. That's the book about the largest boat ever being built, the Titan sinking on an iceberg while traveling between the UK and the United States in April, just like the Titanic actually did 14 years later. The year after the Titanic sank, the Federal Reserve was established. The, the, the seal for the Federal Reserve has the Star of David on it. This is almost four decades before Israel was even established. So the Star of David, it's on the Federal Reserve. It's also all over the dollar bill. Down in my comments, I will link more about what you're seeing here. But I'll explain both of these Stars of David. The larger one that's around the Annuit Coeptus even codes the word Mason into it, showing you how Freemasonry is linked right up with this. So let's go back, though, to this coding of Star of David. The name Star of David sums to 11.9. 11 9 just like 9 11 and if you read the thomas friedman book the world is flat he talks about how the two most important dates for all people living on this planet and our history are november 9th the day the berlin wall fell and september 11th as we all know both of those events are so coded with 33 it's sick jfk even once upon a time gave a speech called i am a berliner the numerology of the date he gave it sums to 33 berlin has the gematria of 33 the name Kennedy sums to 33. Both Germany and the United States have flags established on 33 dates. I'm just showing you more and more of these connections. So anyway, Star of David and Gematria sums to 11.9. The symbol can be found on the seal of the Federal Reserve, the dollar note, the flag of Israel, and other places. With the reduced method, Star of David sums to 47. So now let's think about 9-11 real quick. On that day, three buildings fell. Three. A lot of people don't know about the third building still, even 13 years later. The first two buildings that fell, Towers 1 and 2, which is almost everyone in this world has seen, who has a screen somewhere, were both 110 stories tall. 110 stories tall. The third building to fall, Building 7, which fell eight hours later in the day, was 47 floors tall. And before that building fell, the BBC and CBS both announced that the building had already completely collapsed almost a half hour before it actually fell. So you want to see how rigged it all is. The media did all sorts of giveaways that day for how rigged the information we receive is from the media. They made all sorts of bloopers that day, which is understandable because, I mean, look at the, the size of the hoax they were pulling off. Well, check this out. Who was the big villain that came out of that day? They named him the same day 9-11 happened. They already had him ready to go. His name was Osama bin Laden. Well, guess what his name sums to in Gematria? Yes, 110, just like the number of stories tall 1 and 2 were. And with the reduced method, it sums to 47, just like Building 7 was 47 floors, and Star of David sums to 47, as do so many other things, right, that I've taught you guys. Some other villains in history. If you ask most Americans who the two worst people were in history, I bet you a lot of them would say, Saddam, or well, yeah, they might say Saddam Hussein too. I just actually subliminally said it. But I bet you a lot of them would say Osama bin Laden and Adolf Hitler, right? We've been programmed with that. The name Adolf Hitler also sums to 110 with the reduced method. His name sums to 56, which is just like the name Rockefeller. Rockefeller with the larger methods, 110, smaller methods, 56. It was David Rockefeller who proposed the World Trade Centers March 11th, 1961. And it was his family member, Governor Nelson Rockefeller, who approved them. So these Rockefellers approve this project. Their name sums to 110, and they build 110-story tall towers. What do you think? I think it's just a coincidence. The word president also sums to 110. 
and 47. All right, so if you've watched all this and you're still not getting the message, the main point is the people behind all these atrocities and lies that are waged against us for the sake of controlling us and steering us as a populace is that these people are numerologists. Numerology and numbers are super important to them. If you don't believe that, you should know this. The Iraq War, the most recent one, started 555 days, 555 after September 11th on March 20th, 2003. Why, where's that number come from? Let's look at the nation's war department, the Pentagon. Five-sided, five floors, five-acre court in the middle. It sits across from the Washington Monument, the tall, skinny, white obelisk that's 555 feet tall. On September 11th, the Pentagon was hit by Flight 77. That's funny because the Pentagon is 77 feet tall, and it sits on the 77th meridian known as the American Meridian. In Gematria, the phrase Knights of Templar sums to 77. Chicago, not too far away, is divided into 77 neighborhoods. The U.S. flag was established June 14th, 1777. Add up the numerology of that date, it sums to 33, like the word knight, like the highest degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry, free, free excuse me, 33. Let's also talk about these numbers, 9-11, why they're so important. So in history, the, the old world used the Coptic calendar, Coptic, a word with a gematria of 66, also important to the foundation of this nation. On September 11th, is New Year's Day on the Coptic calendar. Coptic calendar says September 11th is New Year's Day at this moment in history. So that's interesting about 9-11, but there's more. 11 and 9 are also really cool numbers. 11 times 11 equals 121. 111 times 111 equals 12,321. And so on. Do you notice how these number patterns are like a pyramid? Imagine stacking building blocks over the numbers. So one high, two high, three high, then two high, one high, one high, two high, three high, four high, then three high, two high, one high. Can you imagine it? Pyramid. So 11's a pyramid number. Nine's also super cool in numerology because nine times any number, any number, if you multiply nine times any number and then get the numerology of that number, it will always reduce to nine. That's not true of any other number. That's exclusive just for nine. Also, if you guys, maybe you've already noticed, but nine is the glue in this gematria. Three letters equal one in the alphabet. A, J, and S. Each of those letters is nine letters apart. A is the first, J is the tenth, S is the nineteenth. The three letters that equal B or, or two are B, K, and T. Two, eleven, twenty. The letters that equal C are the 3rd, the 12th, and the 21st. See how they're all 9 apart? So 9 and 11 are very important numbers for their mathematical and numerological properties. And uh, I just want to show you that none of this stuff's arbitrary, you guys. I'm going to link my other 9-11 post as well as my written blog information so you guys can see all this math, see the other information, know that this isn't it. Also, if this is my first video that you've ever seen, Please go back and watch my others, including the introductory videos. Also, like and subscribe, you guys. I need that help because this word has to get out. There's a lot of important messages out there, but you guys, the one I'm sharing is truly an important message. Why? Because every single person has these skills if they know English and how to count up to 26. And it reveals the truth. I, In the whole time I've been studying this, you guys, I haven't found anything that reveals the truth better than this gematria, honestly. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff out there. I'm not saying this is it, but gematria just really cuts to it, and it shows you some strong connections. So hope you learned something new, and until next time, thanks again. One last point. I began with Revelation 3.9 and how it speaks about false Jews who worship at the synagogue of Satan. When you flip that number 39 around, you get 93. Recall that Bill Clinton, in his first year as president, suffered through the 93 World Trade Center bombing, which was the worst act of terrorism on U.S. soil since Pearl Harbor. Then eight years later, under George W. Bush's first term, he experienced the World Trade Center attack. 
What's very interesting is that from the 93 World Trade Center bombing to 9-11-2001 was a span of 3,119 days. Imagine that number, 3-11-9. The World Trade Center project was proposed March 11th. It collapsed September 11th, 3-11 and 9-11. These are very important numbers in history. Six months after the collapse on 3-11, was the tribute to light, which lasted for 33 nights. So much of this numerological coding. The other thing I want to say is that the date, 9-11-2001, in numerology, you can compress the day to a single digit. Unless it's a master number or multiple of 11. So it can stay 11. The day was the 11th day. It was the ninth month. It was already a single digit. The year was 2001. In numerology, 2001 becomes 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1. Smushes to 3. So you could rewrite the date. 9 slash 11 slash 3. In gematria, that phrase is I am. 9113 creates I am. And that's the reverse of 3119, the number of days between the 93 World Trade Center attack and the 911 2001 attack. And recall, at the beginning, we started with that number 39, which I showed you how was connected to New York. 93 is the reverse of that. So again, I'm just showing you how important this numerology is. The more you understand this numerology, the more you will understand what's happening in your world. Not only that, you'll be able to see into the future likely what is to come. If you guys read my written blog, I've made several predictions this year that have come true. I have several more predictions that are still looming. We will see if they come true. But again, I can't emphasize enough how important this information is and how much clarity it can bring to your life. The other thing that's nice is you guys, our brains are muscles and using these skills works your brain. It makes you more intelligent. It makes you think. And that's something we all need to be doing. So thanks again.